Here's part two now. Uh, my new Beatle records. Okay. I'm going to show you the, um, the red. And the blue album. Take a swallow, take them out. It has all the lyrics to to the songs. They also have this on CD, but I didn't want to get the CD. I, I don't play too many CDs, I play mostly records. The cover looks the same. Okay, I got the records out. One and two are pretty much the same running order on the vinyl record version, but the third record or all the, the new remixes they did on the mono. It looks exactly the same as the other versions, but it didn't have the third record. Pretty much got the red background with the Apple label and what they what they did they um, they asked him extra tracks on the Red Album. Now the CD version is not like that. They put all the songs pretty much in order. Kind of the same as the, um, the, the original pressing. But the original pressing only had two records. This one's got three. All these songs been remixed by Giles Martin. These are 33 and a third though. So that's what they look like that you see. Now I'm um, gonna show a little bit of the blue one. And while I bought the blue one, it also has the the new Beatles song, Now and Then. It was like a bonus track. They want to include it. But one thing I wish they would have done, there was plenty of vinyl space, they probably could have done it. Or have it on four records, what they should have done. They should have included Free as a Bird, Real Love by John Lennon, but I guess they didn't want to do it that way, but that's okay. I'm still happy I got this. I kind of debated if I want to get this or not, but I decided to, because who knows, who knows, um, how long are these going to be in print? Especially the shingles, that's why I jumped on them. I, I decided that I was just going to buy the black vinyl, because the black vinyl, in my opinion, sounds better. I really haven't, I only played the, one of the records. Um, I didn't, I didn't play the red one yet. But anyway, the, this is what the blue record set looks like. So I, I just went with the black vinyl. That's, it's good enough for me. But anyway, this is record one, record two, record three, 
and this is the Apple label side. So that's the the slice apple side. It's like the same as the the original ones, except for the it didn't have the third record. Cause they they used the deep mixing on some of the earlier tracks, like uh let me do and some of the other early tracks that one were only two track recordings songs like Tristan and Shout they used the deep mix so made the songs more stereo because they didn't have too many tracks to work with in the day when the Beatles recorded all the song all, all the main songs on the record format are the same running order except for the third record. Like on, on the third record, they would have Hey Bulldog, Oh Darling, I Me My, I Want You She So Heavy, Now and Then, Blackbird, Dear Prudence, Glass Onions With You Without You And what's funny about The last track On Shy Ships I Want You She So Heavy It took almost half of the side Of the record But These are my Beatles collections that I just purchased I hope they do a uh, rubber show and, and a couple of the earlier albums everybody thought that we were going to get rubber show but it, I guess it didn't happen so I'm, I'm glad I got these. I got these on Amazon, but I had to pre-order it because they were, they were not out yet when I made the purchase online. I wish they would have made this into a set where it had a book like on some of the other Beatle collections but I guess they didn't want to do all that but that's alright oh yeah I'm going to show you the height sticker Red one. The only downer on this record yet that they really don't say in well they say it but it's in so fine print. It it, it doesn't say remix by Giles Martin in the front like yeah it doesn't even say Giles Martin remix so it, it was kind of misleading but I knew it was remix because of the because uh, I was waiting for this to come out. That's how I know it was remixed. Oh, one other thing before I close. 
is they tell you about this clock in the it's like a little in a sleeve talking about the clock. George Harrison went to a place in New York and he bought this clock in some shop. And that's how they got the design of now and then. But anyway, this is my two-part video of Now and Then and the Red Albums. This is Joshua Joe signing off from Starlight G recording.